Damer here from OCR Kings, and uh, we're kind of revisiting the shoes. Shoes kind of, uh, it's a hot topic. Everyone's always asking what exactly you wear for an OCR. Uh, and, well, I've pretty much worn all of this, I don't know, hundreds of dollars worth of shoes. I've got crazy foot problems. I have been struggling to find a decent pair of shoes. And I spent a couple of years wearing the uh, Helios 2s here, but everyone complains that the traction is pretty lousy when they're wet, and I absolutely agree. I do have a couple pairs of them. It's like the blues, blacks, they definitely have seen a lot of mileage, and they still uh, hold up. They're still go-to shoes, but I've tried the Reebok Spartan shoes. I've got Salmon XD Gore-Tex, which are way too heavy and did a great job when water poured into them and then the water warmed up and actually kept my feet toasty on some of those cold ones. Um, some of them, I mean some, some uh, New Balance Minimus, just not enough padding underneath. It was like you could feel every single rock. It was like, got some winter spike shoes. So these are from Merrill. These are pretty decent, but Spartan definitely says no to spikes. Definitely no to spikes during the uh, winter sprint at Cortland, but uh, definitely use them just for trail runs and training. And then a lot of them are kind of basic trail running shoes, New Balance. Like every one of them just seems to have a bit of a problem. It's like I always have Achilles problems. I've got a plantar fasciitis problem. So I'm always looking for shoes or footbeds, just about anything that works. This is a nice new pair from On Running. It's like super, super comfortable shoes. But the only problem is the treads kind of have an air gap in them and they fill with mud on some of those muddier runs and then they just get heavy and you lose out on that nice cushion. So not quite a fan. Got some Brooks Trail Runners. Even have uh, some boot options. So, I've done a ton of miles in every single one of these, and uh, I don't know, I just, after, after a while, I break the shoe in, and then the pain and the foot problems start. So, these are some uh, Ultras, which are kind of nice. They have a really wide toe box, so they splay out. But, again, they were hurt my feet, so I just kind of dropped them in the bin. So, I don't know. I'm afraid to do the math. If I added all these up, I mean, it's a ridiculous amount of money. So I recommend, I was like, you probably just have to try a, one pair from each brand, see what you like. I mean, I tried the New Balance, I tried Merrill, I tried Brooks, Salmon, but it's kind of hard to say. It was like feet are such a, uh, a tough thing. So uh, sorry, keep playing. <laughs> and uh, there'll be another uh, review from Mac because he kind of has a different approach to uh, shoes. So uh, I like to throw money at the problem. <laughs> And uh, he's, he tends to uh, stay in boots. So I'm more of a trail runner type of shoe guy. And uh, I don't know. There we go. Ah, that's it. Okay, so here's my take on shoes. It's a little less sophisticated than Damer's. Rather than a bin, I have all of my shoes in a black garbage bag because after I film this all of the shoes are going to go right back into this bag and this bag is going to go out to the curb. Now you may know that I prefer to wear boots when I run. I like the ankle support a little bit more than the flats. My ankles tend to roll and uh, I like something to be a little bit more supportive down there. Uh, boots are pretty difficult to find. I got comfortable and I was very happy with these which I ran in for many many years. These were the um, New Balance Abyss 2 tactical boot. These things were fantastic. There was nothing like the grips on these things. In wet conditions, these things just stuck to everything. Fantastic. Okay, They've been discontinued. They've been discontinued for some time now. You can't even find them on eBay. But um, these were great with one major drawback. They were heavy. Okay, They were not designed as running shoes but they were fantastic. Good support in the toes, great ankle support, and fantastic drainage. I don't know if you can see the middle drainage holes right here. No more of these. So I was stuck. I had to find an alternative. So I had been watching 
these for quite some time. Okay, these are the Nike SFB 2s, special field boots under the guise of being um, for special ops guys. Uh, <laughs> I, I doubt, I, I hope that nobody was subjected to these things in any branch of the military or law enforcement because they're horrible. All right, I bought them for ankle support as you might be able to see. There's canvas on the top here. Uh, these have as much ankle support as dad's uh, Vietnam era jungle boots. Not good there. The other thing is there's no you know, squishy toes. There's no, um, you know, guard on your toes. And the most heartbreaking part of these, because I had been watching them with high hopes for such, such a long time, these grips on the bottom are absolutely horrible. They're horrible in every condition, dry or wet, but especially wet. They were terrible on wet rocks, on wet roots, which you encounter all the time when you're running on the trails. They're also slippery on wet pavement. So they were terrible. Huge disappointment. I also had some high hopes for this little grip over here, maybe for the rope. Rubbish, total garbage. So I hope no warfighter was subjected to these things because false advertising Sad to say, and I like Nike as a brand, these were crap, okay? These are going right back in the garbage. So then I was stuck, okay? Glutton for punishment. I <laughs> continued on with the boots. These are uh, NSF, NSB, I don't know, it doesn't really f f warrant mentioning them. NSR, water shoes. They were supposed to be for search and rescue. It's like a neoprene upper. A mm, little bit more ankle support. A little bit of coverage on the toes. Yeah, the grip was okay. Well, the major complaints on the web, as far as the reviews go, there was a tightness right where your instep is, okay, the arch of your foot. And uh, totally true, okay? I wore these for a little bit, just having them on was painful, and walking around in them was not excruciating, but uh, it wasn't walking right for the next couple of days. So, disappointed in those, okay? The quest continued. Got a little closer with these, okay? These are from Ultra. These were the um, mid-mesh 3.5s, okay? They are close, but unfortunately no cigar. These were quickly removed from their website, withdrawn from sale, and with good reason, okay? The grip underneath looks nice, got some big lugs, but this was like a foamy, slippery, crap material. These things were also slippery all over the damn place, all right? They also had these thick, supposed to be mesh, but it was a little bit thicker. It absorbed a lot of water, so they became slippery and heavy. They got a little closer. These were purpose-built running shoes, purpose-built trail running shoes. Had the ankle support, but not much else. So the search continued. All right, so we went through a whole bunch of shoes that we were uh, less than successful yes. with. Some more than others, but you know, it's all good. Shoes are hard. Shoes are hard. So um, currently, I mean, this is what we've decided to run in so far this season. Damer, what, what yep. do you got over there? Yep. Well, I did a lot of miles in these, which are the uh, Innov Rock Light 315s. It was like, really like them did the uh, SoCal Super and Sprint in them. Not that there was much mud at that event. Actually, there was zero mud at that event. But traction was awesome on the obstacles, felt great, didn't hurt the feet at all. So at the moment, I plan on running in these as long as possible. But I don't know, today's run, it's a little tough. I had a weird pinch right across the top of the foot and I could not get rid of it. So all of a sudden this went from my uh, A plus go-to 2020 shoe to uh, now I, I'm kind of worried. So, to be determined maybe? Yeah. yeah. So I mean now that we're running like beast lengths every time we go out, it's right. like now we're starting to feel the aches and the pains and yep, I, I had it today. So uh, this is what I'm using. I'm gonna continue using it. I do love it on the obstacles. I do love it in the mud and as we're training. And the, the tread is awesome. It has a little rock shield underneath just so uh, you don't feel those little rocks that you're stepping on. So a, a really great trail shoe. It did great on the rope climb. Right. Um, and where do you get them? Did you get that off of some a special website or Amazon or eBay? Where I think I did Amazon on these. Okay. So it was, it was a uh, 
I was kind of watching them for a while, and, and I know a lot of people talk about uh, this brand. So okay. it was, uh, it was let's, let's check them out. Let's go for it. I was just came out of the uh, Spartan ones that I didn't really like. Loved the drainage on them, but just couldn't get into those shoes. Right. Got a little, little too much pinching across the top of the shoe for me. So it was like I stepped away from those. So, like, still looking, but at the moment, this is my uh, winner at the moment for 2020. Nice. So what about you? All right. Well, I made mention of a previous model of these that was far less than successful um from yeah. ultra ultra redeemed themselves i think with these these are the lone peak mid mesh 4.0 okay the threes or three and a half excuse me were not good these are pretty damn good i like that grip okay they reversed course and they have a little bit more grippy rubbery type lug on the bottom whereas the other one was like that foamy it was little, it was crap. soft yep. The other thing I like about these, I didn't think I would be a fan at first, is the wide toe box. Oh, your toes will splay. What the hell is the splay? You know? Well, it's pretty, it's pretty damn comfortable on the Tootsies. All right. The other thing I like, obviously, is the upper. You're definitely you a protect the ankles. Get a little bit more. We were in real technical terrain today with rocks and roots, but also ice and that crunchy crap that you break through and you, just a lot of yaw on the old ankle. I did like that. The other thing that I like about these versus my other go-to shoe that's been discontinued is the weight difference. Now these are purpose-built trail running shoes whereas my old boots weren't. I'm saving over 14 and a half ounces per shoe. <laughs> so that's more than like a pound, pound and a half almost uh, off my feet. So one thing I would say Ultra needs to improve upon is the cushioning under here. Okay, it looks pretty beefy, but you really feel yeah, the I impacts. Think like a little rock plate like or something. A shank or so, something in there. Anything. Yeah. So that would be my one complaint about these. And the other would be, because I think it's gimmicky horseshit, is the zero drop. Now we're going to take a lot of flack for that. Zero drop! It's some, the way your feet are supposed to run. Some people really? Love, some people love it. If, if, oh if zero drop is supposed to be the way your foot is supposed to run, why are we wearing shoes at all? <laughs> Right? Wasn't that? You weren't born with shoes on. Well, it's unnatural to have a, a, a millimeter drop, zero drop. Bullshit. Okay? All of the athletes who never even heard of zero drop, were they doing it wrong? Michael Jordan? How many pairs of Air Jordans have I owned? He was doing it wrong the whole time? I don't think so. So I would like to see them raise this up to be like a normal shoe just a little bit because it would be easier on the calves. Okay? There's an adjustment period for any zero drop shoes. There shouldn't be. You shouldn't have to do stretchy exercises or any of this stuff. Anything other than your normal routine to put on a pair of running <laughs> shoes. So Ultra, if you ever hear this, I like these very much. You got some great stuff, great drainage, drainage, excuse me, they're light, the grip is fantastic. Just let's get rid of the gimmicky stuff and give us uh, a little bit of support That's in the it. back rather than flat That's foot. Right. Otherwise, these are great. Um, I would continue to wear these. Does it actually say Stone Guard on the on the inside here? What does it say on it the flip it around? Zero drop, and it does say Stone Guard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna just cut that out, okay? <laughs> Sharpie that. <laughs> That's right. So uh, this is what we're currently doing. We're having a good time for 2020. Um, but you know the quest continues because do we think that the shoes are perfect? Mm. I don't know. It, yeah. It's yeah. hard to find the perfect fit. Everybody's feet are kind of different and arches are different. Kind, and so right. It's, it's, it's really weird. You so. have to experiment and that sucks because shoes aren't cheap. Okay? Yeah. No. If you're looking for ankle support, boom. If you're looking for a regular trainer or runner height that has good grip, optical shoe, boom. Okay? You got two options right there. You can start there. We're also looking forward to maybe receiving some packages in the mail. Love to. Doing yeah. some tests yeah. and seeing if there's even a better option than these two. Okay. Just for disclosure's sake, did anybody send you those? No. No, nobody sent. We bought I these with our I own wish. money. <laughs> uh, seriously. We are we are uh, <laughs> open to the negotiation. The whores that we are. So uh, the quest continues. So if anybody's running in something other than uh, what we discussed here, and if you've got a great option, please, by all means, leave a comment below. We like to exchange ideas and give everybody the best set of options we can. So other than that, this has been Damer and Mac for OCR Kings. And remember, as always, train hard. Have fun. Have fun.
you see me speed it up at the end there. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> I was gonna do, it's also perfect for doing this. <laughs> so Damer, I was wondering, uh, important question. I know it's first on on your mind is uh, how do you feel about um, you know mufflers? <laughs> My luck is going to try to take the shoe off for the video and then my <laughs> kick the camera yeah. or the ah. calf would lock up. <laughs> ah. Ah. I need mustard. 